Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime One back again with another Transformers video review. All right, this is my last Age of Extinction figure uh, for right now, um, and this is Voyager class Grimlock. And just so I can talk about it now and get it out of the way, um, this is where you are supposed to store his weapon in dinosaur mode. So you give him a super long tail that he cannot that has no articulation in it and it looks really stupid it's only on here for the purpose of the video to say that I showed it and now it will never be back there again <clears throat> because I think it's retarded um, so this is Grimlock and his battle mace um, I originally wasn't going to get Grimlock um, the, the three figures that I really wanted was Optimus, Galvatron, and I want uh, Lockdown. But Lockdown seems to be harder to find than freaking gold. So um, I caved and I bought Grimlock. And I'm actually really happy that I did. Because um, like I say, I, I like Grimlock, but I have I already have G1, Classics, and Generations Grimlock. So... The only other one I ever really wanted was animated, but that one's really expensive. Um, but, I don't know. I was with a friend, and they said that I should get it just just to say, just to get it, because um, never know if you'll be kicking yourself later. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad they talked me into it. Um, he's actually a really good figure. Um... He has his flaws. I mean, they, all the figures have their own unique flaws, but um, I do like this Grimlock, um, and just the way he feels. Because with all the glossy, the glossy paint that's like on his on his back or on his legs or or the the chest pieces that turn into his leg armor. It all feels just really nice, and it has like it has a nice sheen to it, and it's like a sheen that you can feel. Um, pretty much anywhere on here, you can you can just feel it. Um, even on the the little arms, which when I first got this guy, I th really thought that they were just gonna pop off because because of the way the the ball joint is like super exposed. I didn't think that they were gonna stay on that long, but, uh, I've actually not had these pop off on me yet. So, another, another good point. Um, and then, so Grimlock's dino mode gimmick is this little lever right here. Um, so yeah, and from the videos I've seen, he, it's supposed to be a lot smoother and quieter, because um, like if I were to do it this way, it still does it. I I, I did it some one way somehow, to where he he did the jaw gimmick, but it wasn't um, it wasn't making that that rubbing plastic on plastic noise. Um, but yeah, he's. He's actually he's a really good T Rex. I like the way this looks. Um, I like I like the horns and or bunny ears. Um, I like the spikes that are on his tail. Um, I just I kind of I kind of like the little minimalistic tiger tiger stripes that only appear on his back, um, but with all the holes everywhere, um, and then the black through here and the black on his leg, it gives the impression that that's everywhere. So it, it visually, he is really stunning. Um, and I do like the blue sunken in eyes that he has. Um, it would have been nice if they were red, like they were in the movie. Um, but Hey, it's, it is what it is and it still looks nice. Um, so, to transform him, it's actually pretty interesting. Um, first off, we'll start by straightening out his legs, and then we'll fold the claw in, uh, 
unfold this, spin it around, and then there's a tab that goes into the same slot that the knee piece was in. And then there is his fist, and then we will do it on this side. And then we will bring the legs back like so. Uh, next, we will fold the little armor shin pieces to the side. And then we will um, grab the tail, which are his legs, and just bring them around like so. Then we'll come around and there's a tab and a lock-in piece and they just kind of friction in there. They don't hold very well um, but they still go in so and then we'll just fold the arms against the skirt armor and then we will separate the legs and then fold the feet forward and they kind of click forward. Um, one thing to note, the the feet stay together with a peg and a hole the first time I pegged his feet together, um, these stress marks started showing up. Um, they haven't, I haven't seen them get any worse, so I don't know what that means. Um, but, I don't know, I usually keep him in robot mode anyways, so there's that. And then we want to come up here and grab this piece and just bring it down and then there's a tab and there's a hole underneath the black piece and we'll just push those in um, one thing I like to do is I like to push this down under the the side skirt armor oh, come on there we go so there's that um, I'm going to bring his head forward, not all the way, but just a little bit, and then we come back here to the dinosaur head on his butt, and we want to split it, or we want to, we want to pull this, uh, we want to pull this out of the back, that's right, pull that out first, and then we lift this up, so that way the shared tab can come out of the, 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 hole and then we split the head in half like so um, bring down the dino head jaws and then we pass this through and then there that shared tab is now two tabs that go into a hole on each side of the shoulders and we tab those in and then we bring this piece down and then this unfortunately just kinda hangs there not much you can do about it, but it is what it is. And then that is it. And we have Grimlock in robot mode. Um, he does, unfortunately, have the, the gorilla bicep bodybuilder arms. Unless you unpeg the the foot from the arm and then you can have and then you can turn his wrist um, it doesn't sit flush against his arm like it does on on this side what the heck um, yeah it doesn't sit as flush his joints are very tight I will I will give this figure that his joints are very tight um, but yeah so if you don't want him to have the the bodybuilder bicep curler arms you can unpeg the foot and turn the wrist um, it just won't look as flush as it does on this side or on, when you have it plugged in regularly um, I don't care either way I I do it just so I can have him uh, holding his weapon and then like he can bring his arm up um, do it with this side So we can just do it like that. Unfortunately, um, 
this is the only way he can hold his weapon. So, no... It's not very effectual, since it's a mace, and you kind of want to reach and hit people with it, um, instead of being within, you know, slapping distance and then hitting them with it. But it still looks impressive in his hands. Um, so... It's not good, it's not bad, it's just what it is. Um, for articulation, he has, he can move his head forward and back on the neck joint, and then he can turn his head about that far? Nope, he can go all the way around. Okay, so he can go full 180. Um, shoulders can go out, and then the, the dino jaws move up to accommodate. Um, full arm, full arm motion. Uh, elbows can go about that far. No waist, unfortunately, because of how his chest tabs on. Um, but he's got pretty good, pretty good leg articulation. Um, really good knees. And then he can, he has his transformation joint for his feet. Um, and then his legs can bow in for some reason. Um, probably to give him just like a, a, a more humanized stance, kind of like how Pia did in his, in his video. Um, which does work. Um, sometimes I forget to do it and he gets a little wobbly. But it does work. Um, and that's about it for articulation. Um, and then size comparison with the other two. Uh, here's Galvatron. Here is Optimus. So, there they are. Optimus is still the tallest out of the three, and Galvatron is the shortest. Because if you... Take like this, he's... Eh, they're about the same height, but the... The way they were standing, it looked... He looks shorter. Um, so yeah, there are the three Age of Extinction figures that I have so far. I'm looking to get the rust-colored Optimus Prime. I'm looking to get Locked Down. Um, I don't know if I want a Bumblebee or not, and if I do, which version of it of him I want. Because um, at first I was dead set on getting the black Bumblebee, the, the, what was it, 60, no, yeah, 67 Camaro, um, but then I've seen, I've seen what the new one looks like, and I've seen how it transforms, it looks kind of fun, um, so I don't know which one I want to get, and then I don't know, I don't, I don't plan on getting any more Dinobots, um, maybe the other three that were in the movie, um, cause Slash looks pretty horrible. Um, and I don't know about the other Voyager, the, the slug, uh, the sludge analog. Um, but yeah. So, that's all I have for Age of Extinction, but my Transformer reviews are not done, and I will be back with them again at some point. So until then, I'm Spider Prime 1, and I'm signing off.